Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, you don't know this, but this is take two of this video. So I am definitely checking to make sure we're recording. Um, today I've got another junk journal page layout idea for you. So I'm gonna put this in my junk journal idea book that we're making together. And um, this is just a way to show you how you can use different papers, whether they're digitals or you've got scrapbook paper, pattern paper, magazines, whatever, and how you might be able to make some fun things to decorate your pages with. So this first one we're gonna do is a really big pocket. And it's a, let's see, it's a top load deep pocket, um, which is, you know, I've shown you similar um, pockets like that before, but we'll make one together. Um, but it has this really pretty decorative flower on it. And then this one is another way to make a flower, just punching, um, using a heart punch, or you can just cut out some hearts if you don't have one to make this. And then I wrapped it around the page, so we've got a tuck spot on this side. So some simple ideas, but I think they'll be really pretty. I used my Opal's Favorite Florals digital paper, um, which I'll link for you in the description if you're interested, but you can use any paper you have. And we are gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. I've already done mine, but um, I'll show you. And like I said, I've <laughs> this is my second time recording this, so we'll see. I'll probably forget what I've said um, as we go. But, um, I made these, and then um, some of them I sewed buttons on the centers of the flowers, and that cute? And then this one I decided to show you how you don't have to have a button. You can just do like a little circle or something in the middle. Um, but I was trying to, you know, I was looking at this paper kit, which I love, and I it was one of my first ones, I think. Um, but I was thinking even for the fall, these colors are pretty, and I wanted to make something with them. And I realized, you know, what, what is something you can do with some of these double journal pages um, besides just the traditional print them out, fold them in half, and put them in a signature? And so I started thinking it would be fun to fussy cut out maybe one of the flowers and um, then also just use different scraps or pieces from the kit to make these flowers. So I'm gonna show you how to make these. So that's what we're gonna do. So it, it's really straightforward. Um, now the first one I did, I cut out this exact flower. The second one I picked a different page. This is a little bit different flower. Um, but this one, I just put it on just one of the other halves that didn't have a decoration. But on this one, I decided to layer it on top of the same page. And I kind of like that even when it is kind of flipping up, you see the flower underneath. So your choice. Um, one thing that would be fun if you've got a similar type of paper or an image that you like, like on some scrapbook paper, you know, just fussy cut it out and find different ways to make it look cool um, on a page. But you could... Um, you know, have this in your journal, and then this is the exact same flower, and put it on a on a different page, you know, and have it twice. You can even do the orientation a little bit different if you wanted to. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to just attach it here. I'm going to show you how I attached it. Um, you do have to, you know, take your time. The stem is pretty narrow, but it's, it's okay because we're going to glue it down. I would say you're going to want to use a glue that does have some kind of precision tip um, because all we're gonna do is add a bead of glue right down that stem and I'm gonna put a tiny bit on each leaf and then I'm gonna just bring a little bit up into the flower and then we're gonna do something there um, in the center. So I am lining it up right on top of the image and of course if you put it on a different page you'll just put it wherever you want to all right and you could leave it just like that i think it's cute and it kind of gives the page a little 3d effect but i did dig through my vintage buttons and i just sewed a button right on there so sewing onto paper you just you know you want to be careful i used regular thread and a needle um and then when I put this on a page, I'll show you when we make the pocket, you know, you may want to cover that up, but let's just find a button real quick and I'll sew it on while we're chatting. And 
I tend to, for these pick buttons that are a little bit flatter, you know, not necessarily one that is raised. Oh, I saw one that I thought would be cute. Oh, is that too green? Ooh, that's way too green. Um, I think it was this one that I had my eye on. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to sew it on real quick. I don't even know. Is my needle? Oh, I do still have some thread on my needle. So that's a good thing. All right. So again, you just want to be gentle and not pull too hard and get your button where you want it. Um, so I guess this is a good time for me to, um, tell you that, okay, so I will have this kit linked for you in the description of the video in case you want to go check it out. Um, if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining. If you, if you've come back for more, more ideas, I'm so happy that you're, you're here again. If you have a minute, I'd love for you to leave me a comment and, um, Tell me what you think of these ideas, or if you have any suggestions or ideas for other things you'd like to see, let me know. Um, oh, gosh. So this is one of the videos that I'm trying to, ooh, I just poked my finger. I'm trying to prep and have ready for you guys for a while I'm on vacation. So hopefully when this one goes live, I will be happily sitting on the beach. Doesn't that sound like fun? Actually, I love to have a change of scenery and get away with my husband, but then I do miss crafting <laughs> while I'm gone. So um, I'm sure I will, while I am sitting on the beach, I will daydream about some new um, videos or things that I'll want to make or projects I'll want to do with you guys. Okay, so that was that's how simple that one is, but let's turn it in to the big pocket so you can see how I made this one here. So what I did is... I just folded, I guesstimated and folded it down. And of course, depending on what papers you use, your pocket and everything will be a different size. I'm going to use a little bit bigger circle for my little notch. I'm going to make a little notch here. So it's clear. It's a pocket. And, um, gosh, I don't even know if you guys can see everything I'm trying to do here. I'm going to just glue this flap down so that it's nice and secure. And then I'm gonna pick, find a piece of paper. Let's just find a scrap piece of paper. Um, you're not gonna see this, so it really doesn't matter. But I do wanna make sure that I glue it down really well. The point of this is when you're sticking things inside the pocket, whatever you put in there doesn't catch on that thread and then accidentally pop your button off. You don't want that to happen. Okay, I think that'll be all right. We'll just ink it a little bit. And then when you're ready to go put it in your journal, you'll just glue it on these three sides, just like I did, and stick it down. And then I did add a little tag there. So I'm not gonna glue this in my idea book because I already have one in my idea book, but now I have this one. I'm probably gonna make a journal using these papers um, anyway, um, again, like for the fall. So I will have lots of things since I've redone this several times to put in my journal. This one I haven't even turned into a pocket yet. All right, so then the next idea we were gonna do were these flowers and the original one, this is the original one that I did and I sewed some buttons on and I did two and I hand drew, and I drew the stems by hand. Um, but I'm gonna do, one on this page, similar to how I did the one that I did um, in the last video I attempted to record, um, just with the single flower so that we can make it a wraparound pocket. Okay, so um, I really like how these turn out. So I have a really old Stampin' Up! heart punch and I just carefully, so I only used this, this size heart, um, just went through and punched some hearts with these papers. Some have more of the pink on there and some are more neutral. Um, if you don't have a heart punch, you know, just find yourself a piece of paper and do the old school, like when we were kids, little hearts. Um, and whatever shape heart you do will be fine. That will kind of determine the size and shape of your flower, of course. But just make yourself 
a little template. And if you want it to come in a little more. And then what I would do, because it doesn't hurt these hearts to be folded in half, and they're so much easier, in my opinion, to cut that way, I would just trace trace this so they're all the same size. That's the key, is you want it to be the same size. And then cut out all of your little hearts, okay? Um, to make a five-petal flower like this, it takes ten hearts because they're, they're double-layered, all right? Um, and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so we're gonna set that aside because we don't need it yet. And I tend to put the hearts that are a little more neutral on the bottom layer and the ones that have some color to be the, the petals that we're gonna see because these are turning into the petals. So I know I need five and I'm just putting a bead of glue right down the center of each heart. And then we're just going to lay one that has a little more color right on top. So then that heart, you're still going to be able to fluff up the petals if you want to. And I know when you close the book, they'll flatten back down. But I still kind of like that 3D effect. And I think it looks cute. All right. So... That's pretty simple. Um, again, you do want to try to use, I can't decide which one I want. Um, you want the hearts to be the same size and try to use just a tiny bit of glue so you don't completely glue your heart together. So just some extras. So now decide um, where on your paper you want your, your flower. And you're gonna put just a touch of glue right here on the tip. All right. And that's it. And we're gonna just lay them down. And you know, just bring the, the points of your heart together. And it turns into just, I think, a super cute flower. Now again, I'm gonna grab my ballpoint pen here. I'm going to use my brown ink pen that I love to journal with and stuff um, and draw a little stem and some petals, leaves, not petals, leaves. I was thinking it would be cute though. You could also cut some leaves out of the paper. That would be fun too. Now on the original one, I sewed a little vintage button. These have almost that um, mother of pearl kind of look to them, which are pretty. But on this one, in case you don't want to sew or you don't have buttons, if I can, oh, here it is. Find my little punch. Um, I was gonna punch, that's what I had this page for because they're kind of a little bit brighter color of the petals. I just punched a circle out and added a tiny bit of Distress Ink, not a lot, and put it right here in the middle. And it looks cute. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my pen. Um, decide where I wanna do my stem. I'm just gonna kinda do like that. Now you could leave it, completely just leave it, or like I said, if you want to draw a few little petals, you can. I keep saying petals, these are leaves, y'all. Leaves, cute little leaves. There, it's done. Super cute. These had a lot more kind of color to them, but I think this one's just as pretty. And if you want to, once you've let it let it dry just a little bit, my glue's dried pretty quick, you can fluff up the hearts, which are the petals, not the leaves. Okay. Very, very cute. And this one's a this one's not wanting to cooperate. Look how sweet that looks. Another thing you could do to dress this up some is we could put, you know, something else right there in the middle. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab my little gold paint pen and I could put some, just some little dots in here to look like the center of the flower. I think that's cute too. Lots of things you can do. Now, to make this wrap around pocket, and I'm not gonna 
put this one in my journal because I already did it. But I just laid it on the page I wanted and kind of decided how wide I wanted it to be. And then I folded it in half. Like that. And then... I went ahead and glued this whole section down. I could have left it as a tuck spot as well. But then on this side, I put glue just on these two sides and then right along the edge of the paper, which then gave us this wonderful tuck spot here. All right. And again, I put a little tag on this one to be cute. You could um, use this as journaling space. You could put an inspirational word or quote. You could add some ribbons. You know, you could really go to town on that. So I love them. I think they're super cute. It's just a really easy idea. I like having them in my idea book because sometimes I kind of am in the, you know, you think inside the box, right? And you realize, oh, wait, but there's so many different ways I could use the papers from this kit besides just, um, you know, as they come. So I hope you like it. I hope you'll give it a try. If you make something, let me know. I'd love to see. It would be fun. So I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time, thank you guys for watching.